websites have media rich content that takes a while to load. Uh, each page has dozens of units that need to be loaded. Uh, JavaScript, CSS, Flash, you name it. And that causes, even on broadband, some new sites to take 5 to 10 seconds. Imagine taking 5 to 10 seconds to turn the page of a magazine. Um, that would completely destroy the seamlessness of the experience. And that's the problem we set out to solve. We want the convenience of print news, namely the speed and the hands-on control. But we also want the advantages, the technical advantages of online news, um, aggregation over multiple sources, continuous updates, being able to search and navigate recommendations from friends in the community, uh, and the ability to have the content personalized for you. So we want it all. We want both, uh, both worlds. And NDK will now show you Google's Fast Flip and how it does it. fastflip.googleapps.com, you will see that we have different modules. We have a popular one, we have a sections one, we have one for topics. The, within each one of these modules, you get different categories. For example, within topics, you get Israel, Kenya, September 11, hip hop. Within sections, you get politics, business, etc. We call these categories magazines, and our belief is that regardless of what your interests are, you will always be able to find a magazine that you find interesting. So let's, for example, consider entertainment. What I'm getting right here is a magazine on entertainment that has a bunch of articles from a variety of different sources. And the beauty of Google Fastlink, which was not captured in the screenshot that was leaked, is how it recreates the magazine experience and how easy it is to go through content until you find an article that you like. So right now I'm looking at an article from the New York Times that I can easily flip and go to different articles very, very quickly, almost as quickly as if it were a magazine, until I happen to find an article that I like. And once there is an article that I find interesting, I can simply click on the screenshot, and then I can read the whole article on the publisher's website. Also, once I find an article that I like, I can easily get more articles from the same publication or from the same magazine this case entertainment. If we happen to know who the author of an article is, you can also get more um, articles or stories by the same author. It is also possible, of course, to look at all the stories from a particular source, and since this happens to be TechCrunch 50, it's only fitting that we show um, what the TechCrunch magazine uh, Google Fastlip looks like. And again, the idea is that very, very quickly, you can flip through stories until you find something that you like. Um, of course, Google is a search company, and Marissa here would certainly fire me if I launch a product that doesn't have search incorporated. So although we show a bunch of different magazines in many, many different categories, and search is certainly a part of the product. And right now, the US Open is going on, and I can certainly search for it. And I very quickly get the U.S. Open magazine that, again, has all the articles corresponding to the U.S. Open from the publications that decided to be part of Google Fastlet. Um, at some point, of course, you're going to find a story that you really like, and you want to be able to share it with people that you care about. We offer you two ways of doing so. Um, the first one, of course, is to do it over email. Um, and, again, that's pretty straightforward. So this will be... You can certainly leak this one if you want to. And again, the person getting this article um, will be able to um, get it on his email and then go to Google Fastlet to look at it. What you can also do that's quite interesting is to like an article. By liking an article, you are making a statement that you find a particular article to be enjoyable and that you want to let other people know that this is an article that you happen to care about. So I'm going to like this which will allow other people to be able to see that I and Rike liked um, the story about the US Open. And the way that that's reflected in other people's pages is that there's a section at the bottom um, that has the stories that other people happen to like. So it looks like my friend Jack, who's an engineer that worked on Google Fastweb, and likes Fast Company a lot. And these are the stories that he liked. 
So here, I am getting a magazine corresponding to the stories that Jack happened to like. And, and again, very, very quickly, you can go through the stories that you like. Um, we hope that you'll try Google Fastplay and that you'll enjoy it. And again, it's live right now, or it should be, and you can play with it at fastplay.googlelabs.com.